In this lesson, we are going to take a look at the use of reflexive pronouns. What are pronouns? Do you still remember them? We use pronouns to replace nouns or proper nouns. With the noun "man," I can write, "The man called the police." To use the proper noun, I can say. Jason called the police. Using a pronoun, I could write, "He called the police." We can use "he" to replace the noun "man," or the proper noun "Jason." But why do we need to use pronouns? We use pronouns to make our writing sound less choppy. Or repetitive, huh? What does that mean? Take a look at the following example. Peter could not remember where Peter put Peter's watch. Sounds funny, isn't it? Overusing proper nouns can make our writing sounds choppy. We can use pronouns to make our writing sounds more natural. Peter could not remember where he put his watch. The word "he" refers to Peter, while the word "his" refers to Peter's. Here we use "he" and "his" in the sentence. It would be wrong to say Peter could not remember where she put her watch. Peter is a boy. We don't use "she." Or her. So when we use pronouns, we need to pay attention to the gender of the subject. Gender means male or female. It would also be wrong to say Peter could not remember where they put their watch. Peter is a singular noun, so we don't use they or their. So when we use pronouns, we also need to pay attention to the number of the subject. Is it one person or more than one person? Before we talk about reflexive pronouns, let's look at subject and object pronouns. I, you, we, they, he, she. It are subject pronouns. We use I, you, he, she, it if the subject is singular or just one. We use they, we, the plural you if the subject is plural or more than one. Tina is my best friend. Tina is good at playing the piano. Tina is generous. Tina always shares snacks with us. Tina never gets angry with us. Tina is really kind. Overusing the subject in this case, Tina, will distract your reader. To make the writing sounds more natural, we can use the subject pronouns. But if I change all the Tinas to she, the reader would not know who we are talking about. She is my best friend. She is good at playing the piano. She is generous. She always shares snacks with us. She never gets angry with us. She is really kind. Huh? Who is she? So we need to keep Tina in the first sentence. So that our reader will know who we are talking about, Tina is your best friend. It is also important to state the subject when you speak. Yay! They just called. They are coming over. What? Who? Tom and Ellen just called. They are coming over. Oh, Tom and Ellen are coming over. Do you remember all the object pronouns? They are me, you, 
us, them, him, her, it. Take a look at the following examples. How are you? I'm good, thanks. He, subject pronoun, is talking to her, object pronoun. She, subject pronoun, is cooking for him, object pronoun. They, subject pronoun, are listening to him, object pronoun. So, what are reflexive pronouns? You learned about reflexive pronouns in P four. Do you remember all of them? Reflexive pronouns in singular form are myself, yourself, himself, herself, and itself. Reflexive pronouns in plural forms are yourselves, ourselves, and themselves. Take a look at the following example. A reflexive pronoun is used when the subject and the object refer to the same person. For example, Mickey is looking at Mickey in the mirror. Mickey is the subject of the sentence. He is also the object of the sentence. In this case, we can replace the object with a reflexive pronoun. Mickey is looking at himself in the mirror. Molly accidentally cut herself with a knife this morning. Molly is the subject of the sentence, and it is also the object. That's why we need to use a reflexive pronoun, herself. My brother was talking to himself in his room last night. My brother is the subject of the sentence. The object is also my brother, so we can use a reflexive pronoun to replace the object. Our cousin came to visit us last night. My brother was talking to her in his room last night. In this sentence, my brother is the subject, but the object is my cousin. In this case, we do not use a reflexive pronoun. Instead, we use an object pronoun. In P four, we learned to use reflexive pronouns with the preposition by to show that someone did something without any help. For example, the children got dressed by themselves. We prepare the whole meal by ourselves. No one helped us. We can also use reflexive pronouns with the preposition by to show that someone was alone. For example, she was walking home by herself. Donald lives by himself in a huge house. Here is a song about reflexive pronouns. Enjoy.